Hey, I'm Adam with Wings and Wheels, and today we are going to be talking about the one part that most glider pilots need to get in the air, that being the tow rope. If you want to get in the air safely, choosing the right tow rope is crucial. You obviously don't want it to be so weak that it's going to break on tow, but you don't want it too strong that it's going to break your glider. The FAA has specific regulations on this. CFR Title 14, Section 91.309 states that your tow rope needs to be between 80 and 200% of the max gross weight of the glider. For example, let's say you are flying an LS3, which has a max gross weight of 1,041 pounds. The rope strength can be no less than 832.8 pounds, but no more than 2,082 pounds. When purchasing a tow rope, you need to be aware of the FAA's regulations. But also keep in mind that the actual braking strength of a tow rope is normally higher than the advertised braking strength. Tow ropes are normally advertised with the minimum tensile strength, which is the lightest load that the tow rope could possibly break at. But each rope at Wings and Wheels has been physically tested with the actual braking load recorded. For example, this rope here has a minimum tensile strength of 2,000 pounds but it actually broke at a load of 2,232 pounds when tested. If we go back to the maximum braking load value we calculated for the LS3, we can see that this rope is actually too strong to use on the glider. If you only look at that 2,000 pounds advertised braking strength, you would think you're within the 80 to 200% margin when you're actually buying a rope that's too strong for your glider. Now there is a way to use a rope that is too strong for your glider, and that is by using a weak link. Think of the weak link like a circuit breaker. It's designed to break at a certain load so the rope does not cause structural damage to the glider. Wings and Wheels recommends using these toast weak links and not a weaker rope as a weak link. As I mentioned before, you won't know the rope weak link's actual breaking strength unless it has been tested. All right, well that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about ropes or weak links, be sure to leave a comment below. If you want to see our full selection of rope and weak links, I've linked our website in the description below where you can learn more. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.